Well, Mark named Peter United captain, I guess, doesn't matter what club you go to, it's still a tremendous honour. It's an honour, mate, yeah. Um, it's a new challenge for me, to be fair. I mean, I've... Um, I've, you know, I've been shut the armband now and again, but um, to to actually officially get the armband, it's uh, it's an honour for me and a new challenge for me and uh, one that I'm uh, looking forward to. You got a chance to obviously meet the meet the group. Are they do they seem a good group to to be around in terms of marshalling them, so to speak? Yeah, they're a great group, um, young group. Um, I think it's the first club I've been at where at age 29 I feel like a fossil, to be honest. <laughs> uh, but no, they the great group of lads. Um, you know, there's a, there's a good uh, there's a good t- togetherness about us, um, and it's been a cracking start to pre-season, uh, on and off the pitch. You know, I've had two games now and two good results because you know winning's a massive thing. You need to get that uh, mentality, winning mentality, and we, we've managed to do that in two games now. Uh, and off the pitch, we had a great great pre-season trip to La Manga. Uh, you know, like a, a team bonding session, if you want to call it that. Uh, and you know, back on home soil now, we'll be looking to hit the ground running. Yeah, it is important, isn't it, to have a togetherness both in the dressing room, obviously, when you go out on the pitch. Of course, it's important, but off the pitch, it's equally important. It is, yeah, because you've got that, you know, that bond off the pitch. Then I think that reflects onto the pitch as well. I think it's, it reflects, you know, um, throughout the team. Um, you, you might not notice it yourself when you're doing it, but I think looking after each other in in every game throughout the season is massive. Uh, both communication and, and you know the jobs that you be, be that you'll be given throughout the season. Uh, so you know, like I say, it's been a good start, and uh, hopefully we can take that into the season. Yeah. Alex Woodyard, vice captain. It was nice to have someone as your sort of lieutenant, so to speak. Is he going to do all the dirty jobs while you get all the glory? Uh, no, I'd, I'm not really thought about that. To be fair, but you know, Woody's. It's a cliche thing to say, but I feel as though throughout the squad, you need more than one captain and. Uh, you know, Woody's Woody's a leader as well, as there are a few leaders in that dressing room, even though we have got a, a young squad um, and, and we'll need every single one of us to uh, to get where we want to be uh, come the end of the season. Don't get carried away with clean sheets, I guess, in pre-season, but it's nice, isn't it, to, to feel that the defence is solid and the goalkeeper behind you is solid as well? It is, yeah, and, uh, you know, the more pre-season goes on, we'll be coming up against stronger opposition, I would have thought. Um, but you know, to get that winning mentality and, like I say, that clean sheet mentality as well is massive. Um, it, it's it, it's about getting confidence for me throughout throughout pre season, and uh, like I said back there, it, it's it's a fantastic start and a long may it continue. Out in La Manga, you had I think six in your apartment. What were they like as a as roomies, so to speak? That was good. Um, our roomie Butts is uh, is a great guy, different. But a good guy. Normally, when people say different, they mean weird. But it's, yeah, it's different. He doesn't like that name, weird. But uh, that's why. Well, we'll call him weirder. Eh? <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's. Uh, I forget who we had in our in our in our room. But you know, six in an apartment, it can get congested. But um, you know, we had them nights when Love Island came on, got in the living room and watched that together. So uh, yeah, it was good. Um, uh, you know, in and around the villa, there was. We had to do our songs as well, our initiation songs, which, let me tell you, never get easier. Um, you actually went first, was that a conscious decision? It was a decision that I'd made in my head quite early, to be honest. As soon as like you hear the, the glass tap, then uh, I, I knew I was going to bounce straight up and, and get it out of the way first, because you know, there's quite a few new signings here, so I didn't want to be waiting till, uh, till last to do mine. And to be fair, you held the note quite well in the first couple of uh, lines of the song you sung. Um, I don't want to say you, you were brilliant or anything, but you, you did all right. You can say that if you want. <laughs> no, I don't want to. You, you did. You did okay though, which uh, you set the standard. No, no, I'm quite happy to be fair. Um, I think they were worse than me. They were definitely, definitely worse than you. Yeah, there was. So I'll take that. But um, it's one of them things that you have to do. Uh, pretty much every club that you go to, you've got to do an initiation song. And uh, you know, when you get on that chair and your knees start wobbling, it, it it's it's not a nice feeling. But once you get it out of the way, it's um, it's a good feeling. Yeah. And, and without saying you're old, because you're not. When you get older, in terms of pre-season, do you have to sort of know your body a little bit more than perhaps you do when you're 22 years old? Probably, yeah. Uh, but I mean, you know, touch wood. Um, injury-wise, I've not been too bad. Um, so you do get to know your body better uh, but I think it becomes autopilot to be honest knowing what what's good for you and what, what you need um, but I think there is a difference between being 22 and 29 to be honest you know you might get a few more aches and pains but like I say at 29 I don't think I'm too old to be honest but um, like I said back there I, uh, I feel quite old looking around in this dressing room. 
And when it comes to pre-season, the, the more you do it, you just have to accept it's part and parcel of football. Yes, you have all that running and those friendly games. Yes, they're games of football, but they're not the real thing. You just have to get through it to, to get to the other side in terms of when the league games start. Yeah, of course. I mean, it, within pre-season, the games that um, we play, it's, you know, it's fitness basically and getting the, you know your positional play and getting a feel for it because you've had such a long time off in the summer. Um, so it's about adapting back to what you were used to last season, basically. Um, get your positional play, and you know, for myself, you know, timing the headers, things like that. Little things that you need to get used to. And uh, you know, the more the games come, we're getting more game time, and by the end of pre-season, we should be, uh, we will be ready to go. And just finally, you played obviously with you've had Reece Bennett, you've had Frankie Kent. Obviously, Frankie came in during the summer. Quite a young lad, played a lot of games in in terms of experience in League Two you can see a lot of attributes in him that can be a, a successful defender moving forward. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the names you said, they're all great lads. Um, I like to think the manager probably agree that, you know, all, all the different attributes. Um, Frank is still a young player and he's a good talker as well. Um, a big lad and uh, I think he's got a lot of potential.